everybody welcome back to my channel take care for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're gonna be talking about the first of three episodes of season two of the boys <laughs> Boys is an Amazon Prime original series. Season 2 premiered on September the 4th. We did only get the first three episodes. The remaining episodes are supposed to be released weekly, which I'm really not that happy about. It brings us back to like network TV days. <laughs> it is what it is. We got three episodes and we're about to talk about them. And this is going to be a spoiler review. I think it is. I do have season one review up on my channel. Before I officially do start this review, um, I do want to pre-warn you that you may end up hearing a a little bit more cars than normal um on this video because my fucking air broke you guys that's right so my fucking windows and my door is open and if i am like looking a little bit more dewier than normal if my makeup starts dripping off my face if my hair starts growing in size just ignore it just ignore it the hair situation might be up in a few minutes i have a scrunchie ready to go i got fucking ice ready to go so if you see this throughout the video ignore it i don't run well in the heat you guys so season two of the boys first three episodes do find the aftermath of what happened to the boys after their little adventure that they had in the lab with the little laser baby i can get over that boys who involve huey uh, mother's milk frenchie and we do get uh kimiko a little bit more in this season as well she is more involved uh we actually don't see butcher until I believe it was the end of episode one or until episode two that we saw him uh, coming around. Of course, you know, at the end of uh, season one, we do find out that his wife is very much alive and had a kid who is, of course, Homelander's kid. But the boys, of course, are wanted men because of what happened in season one. And they are kind of hiding under like this basement, one of like Frenchie's like associates kind of deal. One of the things in this season so far, I don't know what's gonna obviously happen you know later on up on those high levels where I can get screeners hopefully one day I can get a screener and I can get the whole series that would be awesome in these uh, first three episodes uh, Frenchie and Mother's Milk don't really have a big like storyline really going on they're kind of more so pu uh, pushed to the side of course, Frenchie like always is very much guarding and trying to take care of Kimiko like if she really needs to be guarding I mean she's like she can like literally like rip your head apart which she actually does in this series again this series is freaking awesome you guys like we see a lot of blood and guts and murder and like parts being ripped apart and people blowing up and like a fucking speedboat going through a fucking well yeah i know how i am with my blood and guts and gore and shit like that is why this show is so awesome you guys it really is huey of course is just super lost he's still going through so much He's even worse off than he was in season one. Like, I, you know, poor thing. I mean, again, if you've never seen this show, we literally start off the sh uh, series with, like, this gruesome accident. He, Him and his girlfriend were just walking down the street. She was just, like, literally one step off the... And then here comes A-Train, which is this version of, like, The Flash. And literally goes through her. And he is just left holding her hands yeah wonder why i love this show i had actually seen a couple people say that the boys kind of more so took him on as a leader in this season i honestly didn't get that from the first three episodes i don't know if that changes when we get to episode four and beyond i i don't know if you have actually seen the whole series does that happen later on like let me know now like i, I love me some spoilers and besides this is a spoiler talk i told you you guys that the hair was gonna come up and the funniest part to me with huey would be when he literally had his like last nervous breakdown well last nervous breakdown as of three episodes <laughs> there in episode three when the whole boat uh, when the whole speedboat through the well situation happened when everybody's like literally coming out of the dead well that they have now impelled and he's just kind of like just there so you guys go ahead you guys go ahead i'm good like this is just the point where he's at now in life he's inside a dead well could you blame the guy and mother's milk the good guy that he is goes in there and like have their little like tea time table talk inside a dead well that's what happens in this kind of show you guys again it's very very like dark humor may not be for everybody but if you are into shit like that feel like you're gonna enjoy it. again not your typical 
type of superhero it's it's crazy i'm gonna really quickly jump into black noir which is possibly one of the most badass superheroes that are on this show he does not speak you guys he literally is this awesome killing like invincible machine now black noir i don't really know who he technically would be in like this dc marvel universe deal i don't know who his counterpart would be um you have to let me know down below we're gonna go ahead and go with homelander because he's just so fucking crazy now homelander would be like superman uh, he is the leader of the seven which would be like the justice league or like the avengers he is fucking psychotic if you recall in season one how fucking psychotic he was he's even fucking more psychotic in this season <laughs> of course now his focus is on his kid um I, I i'm terrible with with names and you know a butcher's wife and he of course wants to have like this big old like happy family basically forcing the kid to tell him i love you and to call him dad and it's like i love you son and then he's all like, yeah, whatever, like, no, now you say it. I mean, when he tries to, like, teach his son how to fly, it's like, no, dude, you're my son. You can do this. By your age, I was doing so-and-so. It tells Butcher's wife, look, you're raising him to be a little bitch. This motherfucker throws his kid off the fucking roof, you guys. It's like, oh, like nothing. No remorse, no nothing. I mean, he literally says, I love you, son. No, you don't. This man does not know love. He does not... I feel have the capability to do it to love somebody i don't know you guys there's he's like a sociopath psychopath he's some sort of path i don't know motherfucker he has a weird ass obsession with milk he uses fear he uses uh manipulation he uses intimidation to get his way this this really does help you guys it really does and we're gonna go ahead and uh move on to the deep who is played by chase crawford fucking love chase crawford any gossip girl fans out there oh like this video got the girl fans again he plays the deep which would be this version of aquaman so at this point he was bailed out of jail and he got picked up by another soup and is kind of trying to help him and keeps offering him some sort of beverage i don't know what kind of fucking beverage that is but it's some sort of like cult shit stuff for sure that he's about to get involved in or he basically is involved in it already but he's just i don't know when he basically got that drink hallucination deal he was talking to his like gill lungs <laughs> fucking gill lungs talking but it's singing we're gonna go ahead and move on to the newest member of the seven which is stormfront this bitch is crazy at this point like who is fucking you know uh scarier and more dangerous stormfront or homelander because homelander i mean he has this very menacing like smile like don't even trust that smile you guys and then poor the poor assistant well like at this point she's like the new head honcho because of homelander you know basically having her being promoted homelander i mean it just depends on what kind of fucking mood he's in what kind of what is it, the time of fucking the month i mean i think he's always on his fucking period but again stormfront i move around so much newest member so she's kind of like the new millennial type of social media bitch when we finally saw her in action being part of the official seven when it was that time and they were chasing the bad guy literally no remorse no safety towards the public um i'm not exactly sure what her exact power is but i'm pretty sure it has something to do with electricity could be electricity could be something else it's purple it's so pretty and like when she gets the bad guy literally choking him to death and it's all like open your eyes i like to see the light go out what kind of fucking psychopath does that storefront you know who else does that homelander now detective susan who is played by jennifer esposito oh energy you guys her death her death i i was just like what the bitch's head blows up like out of nowhere we in the first three episodes got so much murder and like gruesome deaths and like everything that i love in a movie in a series is great i mean they fucking put a speedboat <laughs> through a fucking well you guys aquaman well not aquaman the deep was trying to block them from entering this like whatever with the fucking well <laughs> And Butcher was like going through it. He's all like, oh, you wouldn't 
play that game all right i'm gonna put it up right here it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> and like I said earlier, Huey was just like chilling in the damn well because he just got enough. He really did. So I'm going to say about the first three episodes of season two. I know I said a lot, but at the same time, I feel like I really didn't say a lot. Again, we're going to be uh, coming back here weekly with these uh, type of recaps. It's actually going to be more of a recap than a review. I uh, guess I should clarify that now. I know I keep seeing the review, but I just realized it's more of a recap. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking about the series so far. If you've never seen the series, is it now something that you may want to put on your radar? I think you definitely should put it on your radar. It's really good. Again, I'll see you guys next week for uh, the recap on episode four and of course before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye